PC Game Noobs here and today we're going to be showing you how to uh, fix some stuff on a ticket server um, it's the five main fixes I think uh, this is for a previous video that I did on how to create a ticket server and it's for the people that have some problems uh, the main ones are uh, login forge uh, if people can't join seven more not enough memory and uh, if it cannot find your Java directory so uh, if you'd like to click on an ant annotation above and uh, it'll jump you straight to it so the first error we'll be trying to fix today is the server login forge uh, it looks like this now the way to fix this is by um, loading up your ticket and clicking options under the login and it'll always use recommended builds what you want to do is uh, always use development builds and it should change up here to the latest one or you can manually do it and I'm on 3.1.2 so you want the latest one just click that click OK log in and uh, join the game multiplayer server and uh, it'll work perfectly fine ok the next fix is if people can't join your server but you can join your own server now uh, there's a few reasons this might not work one is because they're not up to the latest build um, that's the last thing I just showed you so make sure that they've done that make sure all 41 mods have actually loaded on the, te on the uh, Technic launcher uh, which you'll find on the MIM Minecraft screen and it says it on the bottom left hand side and uh, another reason is that which is mostly the the main reason is whoever's hosting the server needs to actually have the firewall off uh, obviously I'll just do a quick run through for turn your firewall off is uh, control panel uh, go to your Windows firewall this is for Windows 7 obviously and you want your home network off so as you can see here, turn Windows Firewall on or off. Turn it off just like that, and as you can see, it's off there. And it's gone all red, meaning warning, but you know, not a big deal really. Um, if you're just going on your server, and uh, for an easy way to put it back together here is uh, just click this little flag here, click that there, and boom, your server's back online. The next fix I'm going to do is the seven more fixes. This is happens when you're loading your your launch.bat, um, and it says seven more, and it won't load anymore. Uh, the the reason for this is because a mod is basically corrupt. Uh, a way to fix this is go onto your ticket server, as here. Go on your mods here find the never ours mod which is just here and it's just plain and simple you know just delete it boom deleted now the next time you actually load this up it should load every single thing you can join your server then anyone you know can join your server so that's it for that one the next thing is if you don't have enough memory now uh, a way to fix this is um, what you want to do is click on the launch edit I have no plus plus uh, and basically it's these two numbers here uh, that's the minimum RAM that's the maximum RAM it's trying to use uh, if you want to find out how much RAM you actually have click start right click computer properties and it'll open up onto this one right here go into your system uh, install memory 4 gig so anything over that I should imagine wouldn't work so uh, obviously if you have 2 gig rag, uh, rag, RAM there what you want to put is um, maybe 1024M and uh, which is which is uh, your highest and change this to something like 500M and 
I'll put uh, two. Uh, I'll put a code in this in the description below, so you can just copy and paste it, uh, different ones. But basically, it's as easy as that. Just change the numbers so it's not above your actual maximum RAM usage, and it should work perfectly fine. The next fix is for if your Java directory isn't found. Um, now the way I fix this, because I don't know a lot about this, so uh, if you do know how to fix this and there's an easy way, just uh, please comment below. Um, what I did, because I'm on a 64-bit, I went onto my computer, which is in my Windows 7, and uh, the Java is in the program files 86. I think this is when you've got a 64-bit console, uh, console computer. Sorry. What you want to do is find your Java and you want to copy it, not cut, copy, you want to keep it in there go into your program files here and paste it in here which I've already pasted which is there um, I run it then and it worked perfectly fine all the thing that it's trying to do when you're loading up the server when it says it can't find it, it's trying to find it in the program files one instead of the program files times 86 so that's uh, been tech it server fixes uh, it's the main five fixes that's been a problem on uh, my previous video if you have any other errors and uh, if or if you know how to fix them easier comment and I'll put it in the description to help other people out uh, remember to subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Twitter and uh, we'll see you guys soon bye